Hello, everyone. Welcome to issue 17 of the Spinner Rack. Nathan Kennedy, that is Tyler Baker on, on tap tonight. Wolverine number 48. We're getting into a little bit of the Larry Hama run of Wolverine. But before we deep dive into this issue here, Tyler, sir, it's Friday. The weekend is upon us. Ah. If he's distracted... He's smiling now. We'll see how yeah. this goes. Uh, the the heat or what is it? what is this shit called in the the playoffs? It's, it's the play it's in the play in tournament. The play in tournament. The seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth seeds play for the last two seeds. It's to kind of make the last few games of the season a little bit more engaging. So if your team is struggling to make playoffs, you have a chance. Yeah. Even if your record wouldn't really make it. Yeah. But if you happen to be in ninth or tenth seed, you have a chance to play the seventh and eighth to make the playoffs. I like the idea behind it. I, I, I think that I think that's cool. Uh, it, yeah. it it adds a, a, a an element to it because f- for the most part the the eight seed gets ousted in the first round, so it, at least you can have a little bit of suspense to build to. Oh, well, who will be the eight seed? So, and it, it, I'm sure they, they they just see the dollar signs more more revenue. It's a it's another it's another game at, at a, another arena. Yeah. It's, it's another. Uh, game that's going to air on television blah 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 so pretty much yeah and I, and it's that, cool i like that yeah it's it's fun i just hate that we've had to go through it two years straight and the same same scenario <laughs> playing the bulls just to make the eight seed you know and I'm that like, turned that turned out pretty well last, last year. year yeah we went all the way to the finals hmm. you know and if we win tonight we, we get to play fucking boston on sunday Ooh. And I, I don't love it. Which I know that t that town is fucking scared of Miami already. But I'm like, we're, <laughs> we're missing Jimmy Butler because he's out with a knee injury right now. Uh, so oh, it's, yeah. it's kind of so, one of those things. I'm like, no, yeah. So that that will not be in your favor. But also, too, how long has has Boston been resting? Uh, since probably last weekend. Hmm. Last last Sunday was the last day last so, day of the regular season. So I think that they, that that, that could be a Saturday or Sunday. That could be a detriment to him. It could be. Um, sometimes rest is good, and sometimes it's not. That I've noticed. I mean, I mean, I I really thought that'd be a problem, like like last year where we just jump right into playoffs. Like, there's no day for rest. You get all, get on yeah. the plane that night and fly. I, to, that's uh, what I'm to, saying. To like, I think that might work better in their favor because they're they're still in the groove. Yeah, they're fresh. They're in that grind. They they yeah. don't. And that's, I think they would kind of prefer it that way. I, I think I don't think they you know that's that's kind of the mentality like they don't they don't want to fuck around and rest and let, let's go let's go let's go yeah. you know I mean it's all about conditioning and, and shit, shit like that but I'm like oh fucking Boston first round like yeah, well, we kicked the shit out of him last year but well this well, first well, round without Jimmy Butler like you know and that can be pretty best of seven first round or best of yeah. five okay. no I wish they would. Part of me kind of wishes they would go back to that old school method of like it's with the best of five in the first round and then everything else after yeah. that is best of seven. But yeah, because uh, I think the sense of urgency there with, with yeah. five games over. Seven. I agree. Yeah. Uh, well, hey man, I don't want to bore everybody uh, with sports talk. Well, he's just letting you know. I'll be checking my phone periodically yeah. to keep up with the game. I watched the first quarter and part of the second before the the show. So I'm, I mean, so far so good, right? Uh, yeah. Still, still yeah, winning. Yeah, they're by... up by ten right now. They were by twenty. I'm like, oh, okay. So, me so, about the, <laughs> leads, man. The, the lead. I've been is... on the receiving end of like, we come back from 20 points down and we've lost being up 20 points. So let me go ahead and just put this, uh, put this up here. What I should do is <laughs> I should just pull up like the, uh, the Google search results and we'll just share screens. So it's just up there. So you can just constantly see it uh, no matter what. Oh, uh, I mean, ha- have time. Him, like, the Nates okay. is like, ah, oh, you don't want to see that. Nah, I don't care. He'll only <laughs> do it if he sees like Chicago is like, oh my God, they're up by two now, Tyler. Actually, because I told him I would probably have a live meltdown on the podcast if they look fucking lose tonight. Uh, uh, like I'm going to go out and just wander the streets. I'll keep this up and, and I'll have it here. I'll share screen if uh, Chicago starts pulling ahead just so we can. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh man, uh, let, let's go Bulls. Um. My brother's doing the same thing, and my nephew's pulling for the heat. So, oh, okay, yeah. What? Well, so, is that dynamic just because he hates well, his dad and prefers you because you you give him action figures? And no, you know. no, he 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 generally like likes the heat. Oh, okay. You know, he's he's got a Tyler Hero jersey. My brother's a Dallas fan. Like that's his team. He's a Luka Doncic fan. Did, so. uh, Cuban 
Did he sold them or no? Or is that was there... I think he's I think he's yeah, he's out as as uh, majority owner, yeah. All right. Who owns all, them? As far as I, I have no idea. I just know he was out. It's it's details like that. I don't you know, I just since they're not my team, I'm like, uh eh, Yeah. Well, well Ty, Tyler's got the 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 NBA going on. Uh, I, I'll be watching NHL playoffs starting tomorrow and, and keeping up with that. But hey, I'll, 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 I'll we'll, we'll put a top on the sports talk. But one thing I did want to discuss before we move on is <laughs> I think that it's funny that I, you're still getting articulated action figures. But you've also started to just, you. I, I th- you're getting swayed over into the statues a little more mm-hmm. now. Yeah, and by a little more, I mean like a lot more. It's been my 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 passion probably like the last three or four weeks of just like looking at statues and busts. And let me. Do you think it's because you and I we talk about this all the time on here? Uh, that we're both kind of tired of having so many hands and so many heads oh and all God. this other extra shit that I could just buy the statue or a bust, pull it out of the box, put it on the shelf, and we're done. I never looked at it that way, but that is a an amazing point. Yeah. Because I'm so fucking tired of having to get these little baggies and just bag up all these things. I Once they're bagged up, I will never pull them out again. Yeah. I pick the pose, I pick the, the hands, and that is it. It's that, done. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's that, yeah, yeah. These think, statues but, and busts. It's already a cool pose, a great sculpt. I mean, if you buy it, it's because it looks great when in mm-hmm. pose and, and face sculpt. So it, there, there's nothing to worry about, and there's something that I don't know. I just I I, I, I like the simplicity of it. That yeah, I do too. It's, it's it's just here it I is. I mean, I I've been kind of a little bit ahead of you in in terms of yeah. that. Now now, granted, you you've been delving more in the the higher end with iron studios and i've kind of mm-hmm. done that with some of the uh, marvel premiere from diamond select like the the bullseye and thing but i've also been going into like their their mid-tier stuff with dr doom omega, the omega red looks fantastic yes he does but i also uh well, the way I was going to phrase it, probably, probably not the best way to do it. But I, I, I too have finally dabbled into Iron Studios. I got Forge because the the price was right. And uh, what you, was it? Have you received yours? Already? Yeah, I haven't opened up yet. Oh man, it's it, I. I was telling you, I love the the magnet aspect that they have to keep it to the base. Yeah. The the head attaches on the magnet. I know most. That's like one of the the weirder ones because of it but it looks great and uh i must say i I may have bought two other iron studio statues i'm not gonna tell you who yet well i I bought another one last weekend too because it was so cheap (laughs) and compared to what a brand new one was costing but i made an offer the guy took it and like oh yeah all right so it's an an ebay deal yeah and i and i only saw the one i'm like let me just try it i got sauron okay from X Men, hell yeah! I, yeah I, I fucking love that character. Oh my god, he I, looks amazing. amazing. I'm kind of regretting the fact that we didn't kind of jump into the sooner because I, I did watch a YouTube video of the dude that has the all the Sentinel stuff. Oh yeah, the, oh my, it's beautiful. But there's so that's the hard part about it, is like if you unless you really want to devote no more figures or anything yeah. else. Oh yeah. Fo- yeah. Your entire it. budget has to go towards that. Yeah. Unless it, you're it, rich. Of course. Yeah. Like super rich. Like and, and th- there famous some rich. Amazing pieces in that setup. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, I, I really wanted apocalypse. Like it was out of my price range at the time. Yeah. Pyro was affordable. Now he's out of stock. Yeah. And you, you got to get and, it. You know, yeah, out the, of the yeah. The eBay market price. And that's oh, the thing too. God. Like if you miss out on it and you're paying, you got to go to eBay. Hmm. You're, you're yeah, fucked. You're fucked. You're done. Yeah, because everybody asked for. There's a Mr. Freeze that they done. I wanted Pyro, and they're were, they're at in the states because it's hard to find any of them in the states. It's like people yeah. people buy them. They don't plan on reselling them. Right. It's always Brazil or, or China or Japan, and if I, you find one in the states, it's almost double. I'm excited about the the two that I got. Once again, I'm not going to spoil it. I, I'll probably I'll reveal it the next. Uh, I would assume these will these will be here. By before the next time we do another 
another okay. spinner rack. But I, I, I will definitely take a picture and send it to you. I'm also, because of that, I, I'm going to, I think I'm going to take the vintage Master Universe stuff. I'm going to make a space for it in the basement. That mm -hmm. way I can unbox Eternia, lay it all out. Like I kind of want to just have it one all big, together, like one all big together, one collection. big stretch. Yeah. So I'm that will go in the basement. So that's going to free up this shelf. I think I'm going to move my Marvel Legends. God, just even looking at all this shit and thinking like, <laughs> oh, I'm going to move this just over. Very daunting. But I, I think Marvel Legends will take front and center. But also, I, I think I'm going to start having some space where the statues get their due and have yeah. their place to to be prominent. Though I think some of them, when I get around that comic corner. <laughs> Some of the statues and things will 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 go there to accommodate those. But I, I got excited about it because when I bought both of those, way cheaper price uh, because they were on sale. And I, you, I, you, I you took you, you got part of that flash sale that Iron Studios had. Is, is that what you went after the 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 flash sale they had? I don't know if okay the, the one that well, well you would have so, known then. So one that on I, their website. One one I got from their website and another one I got from Big Bad. Okay. Because I was gonna get them both from the website, but mm -hmm. the way their shipping is kinda it's kinda if you buy one, it's fine, but if you have two in the cart, the shipping like jumps up quite oh, a yeah. bit. And I'm like, well let me let me do Is your math. ship because I bought my Batman Beyond last last Friday. I have not got a shipping notification at all. Uh, oh, I just the one I bought from Big Bad I bought yesterday. And it says okay. Processing. So. Uh, okay. Not yet, but. Which I, I but I, see, I bought mine from Iron Studios, and I'm thinking like, oh. Oh, oh, on. you bought your the Batman one from. Yeah. Iron Studios. Oh, yeah. the one I bought from Iron Studios. Yes, it did ship. It shipped today. All right, that's fucked up. I ordered it a week ago, and there's no notification that's been no. shipped at all. Oh no. Did you do it right? Yeah, I got I got the notification <laughs> and everything, so I'm uh, like, I, I keep checking, like. Were you I, charged? Yes. Okay. I what I like about the website is a lot PayPal. You can pay with PayPal. I like that. Which I mean, I I, I paid. I mean, it shows like everything went through. They've got my money. Hmm. So I, I keep going back and just like looking at. Maybe it, right it shipped and for whatever reason, the email didn't go out. I I would give it till mid next week, and if you don't get anything, maybe message them and just be like, "Hey, uh, here's my order number." Yeah. Uh, is is this gonna? Is this shit? You sure it wasn't a pre order? Is it in stock? Yeah, it was in stock on the huh. on the site. Yeah. Huh. Well, about that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, yeah, I, I I'm excited for those two statues to come in, and I, I, I get it's either uh, at some like just this week gradually get shit moved. So I'm like, all right, well, here's a place I can take a picture of it and send it to Tyler and be like, ah, look what I got. Um, I wonder I if one of them's Quicksilver. No. Okay. Yeah, no, not not quick. So I mean, that one that one looks good. It looks nice, and I I, I forgot someone had it. They they had a couple of uh, like big big bad, and that's why I check them every day now because sometimes they'll have Iron Studio statues on like pretty fucking cheap. Yep, but it's only for like twenty four hours, and if yep. you don't happen to yeah, check they, it, they, yeah, the daily deals thing. But yeah, they, they, yeah, this was not part of it. So. Okay. Well, and I well I did get that Magneto bus from Diamond Select. Someone oh, had it used, and uh, I think I got it for 135, mm. as opposed to 170 on Big Bad. Yeah, yeah. It had a couple of minor like scuffs on the back of his cape. Yeah, but you're not gonna see that anyway. When That's what I thought. I'm like, it's gonna be in. You know, he's gonna be facing. You know, right, he'd be sitting right next to Doctor yeah. Doom on the shelf. I'm like, fuck. I'll, I'll save forty dollars. You know, for yeah, a couple I, of scuffs on the back. Yeah, I liked one of the. Uh... For those of you that are wondering, it's called Legends in 3D. These are the, yeah. the, the bus, the Magneto one. Got. They, they got mm -hmm. a couple of Godzilla ones. One of the Godzilla ones that looked really good, and I was like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> they they are they are nice, and they're worth worth them uh, worth the price when you get them in hand. That absolutely. The, the Snake Eyes and Storm Show I got. They fucking rock. I have. Oh my god. I have Thing and Daredevil in there. Oh, Daredevil. I, I paid regular price for him. Like there was no yeah. discount on him. That was that yeah. was so fucking yeah. worth it. I, I did. Yeah. Same. Yeah, the, I I highly recommend the thing one too. Just the detail. I thought about that because he looks so damn good. I'm like, God, yeah, like, do it. You know, do it, man. Do it now. Just buy it. 
it's it's I, it's a great looking bust. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So I, I getting this stuff I, makes me want to start box up a lot of stuff I got on display, like you know, well, movie, so, mo- like like movie related figures. I'm like, if you just put it, take one item and put them on the shelf, it just doesn't look as cluttered on the shelf. And have, like <laughs> one, yeah. You know, and yeah. it's like you know what? I've had some of the stuff on display for so long. You know why the, not? The, the tides are kind of turning here. Like the yeah. the two Iron Studio statues again. I'm like, maybe I should, maybe I should take the the figures of those that I have. I fucking just, love that you after that Forge figure. Like, oh, well, uh, let's 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 just kind of see what uh, else. Hey, got no, here. hey, we have to we have to <laughs> dial this back though. Well, I'm saying like, I already had that that thing bust. I have yeah. a, a gem statue. I got the McFarlane uh, Batman. Yeah, from, from the comic cover, I have a Cobra Commander. I got the the Godzilla stuff, like Omega Red, Doctor Doom. So I've been dabbling in that anyway. But yeah, I, there there is there is something about it. I, yeah, it's it's pretty stupid. I wanted <laughs> to get that Aquaman statue that's still in stock. Where it's really? two bucks, but he is, you know, oh my god, I'm big bad. Yeah. Uh. No. It's it's out of stock. It's on Iron Studios right oh, now. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Aquaman. A, huh. Yeah. It. It's. It's the. It's the look that I. That's my favorite look of Aquaman. Oh, we we were talking like uh the hook hand mm-hmm. or no? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Ho- hook hand with beard and long hair. Oh. Okay. And that it's like the it's like a wave and like a wave a... with uh, octopus tentacles coming out of the water. Oh. Yeah. Yes, I mean, that's yeah. just like, oh my god, dude. Yes, yes, not bad. Oh yeah. man, oh god, we're gonna <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna be like high high end statue collectors now. Right? Yeah, we just give it's up on reach figures a, and yeah, it was a reach a point. It's like, oh, f- fuck this Marvel legend. Actually, no, uh, I, I will never quit collecting that in GI Joe Classified. Those are the two current lines. Dude, I'm like, I, I, I'm I'm invested in those, and I'm going to keep going with it. How how awesome was it? It's like we're finally getting the Danny Catch Ghost Rider oh my God, with the motorcycle and, and classic Iron Fist. Yeah, like, yeah, it now, sucks. He's in a two pack though, with that which, shitty Luke Cage. But whatever. which I'm thinking like, well, why not? Like, why not just have waited? A year and just put the classic put them together yeah uh, but that's how they get you it's like oh you want this one you gotta buy this two pack yeah fuck you know and i'm like no i don't want the fucking luke cage like this, that's the shitty one from new avengers where he's just wearing jeans and a yellow t-shirt fuck that i mean i guess you could use it as custom fodder send it to I, joe and just never see it again. never never see it again yeah you know because <laughs> he's like oh no, i couldn't make it to the post office and oh i i, I, I uh, like I mean, you send it. You send it to Rebecca. Ren's dabbled in some customized. Well, you know, I mean, that's, you that's, have other avenues. You know, I try to get him to send that one item. I send it to Rebecca. You know, he's like, "Well, Joe, if you're not going to do it, just send it to Rebecca." He's like, "Oh, no, I'll show it, send it tomorrow." And it's still, <laughs> yeah. it's it's probably you know buried next to Rick Poe right now. <laughs> no, he gave it to Rick Poe to play with. Yeah, that's yeah, like one of, one of Rick Poe's last memories on Earth was just, yeah. <laughs> just that figure. If he ever gets away, he needs to send Joe a card that says, thank you for not killing me. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, man. I'm sure Hallmark has a section like that, you know, just devoted for, you know. We're buying statues now. What happened to us? Uh, I never thought I'd see that ever I could afford a statue, let alone buy several. You've been buying a lot of them. Lately. I got, I got all just my opinion. It's, it's like have. every, like every week you're buying one or two. I'm like, dude, those things are like a hundred, 200 bucks a pop. What I the had fuck? the money. I had the money. To, <laughs> bill, bills were paid. I'm not living paycheck to paycheck right yeah, now. So, yeah. you know, I dabbled a little bit in my, in my tax return, not much, you know, but I'm still setting money aside in savings as well. So I'm like, you know, I got paid pretty good. I carried money over. So I'm, I'm like, and then I'm like, and I'm looking at those Bowman, Bowman bus, Oh yeah, many yeah, bus. I bought, were, I bought two yeah, of those. You were asking today. me about that. Yeah, who'd you get? I bought Namor. I bought Red Skull, and I put in a bid for a Mephisto. Why? Maybe I don't. Oh wait, no, there it is. Yeah. I, I sent you the the. the you're like, do you yeah. have any of these? And I was like, yeah, I think I think I have this one. <laughs> I couldn't remember because it's one of the things I would look at a lot on eBay, and I'm like, yeah, should, should I get it? Should I get yeah? Sitting right, it's actually sitting in front of the uh, Legends and 3D thing, though. So. Oh, awesome! Because for those of you that don't know, like I, I pretty much have an entire top shelf up here. It's just all thing. It's like Mar- Marvel Legends, Toy Biz things, uh, the statues, the fucking the the fists. 
Yeah. When, when the, the when movies the movie came were out. out. Yeah. 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 So I just have all iterations of that. And then, of course, uh, Centerpiece on. Well, I don't think you can. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. The uh, point. Is that, is that the frame of the trading cards? Yeah. That, that, what, was yeah. that Christmas or birthday that you did that for me? Christmas. Yeah. 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 So that fucking... that was that was so much fun because I know there were other theme cards that I I I, I wanted to get ones that really stuck out to me or ones that even I had an attachment to just because <laughs> I thought they were awesome you know yeah like I, the Marvel masterpieces like series three that was done by the Hildebrandts yeah you know I I that one the original by uh, Joe Jusco Marvel masterpieces and then some of the yeah. Marvel Universe cards like I Which... I do remember my first pack of Marvel Universe trading cards I got the thing in that pack. Oh God! I'll never forget. That's, I'll never forget that. That's also something we need to circle back around to is doing another series. Trading I know cards. it was long that one time. So oh, when, my, we, when yeah. we do it, it's gonna have to be. I mean, we could Fridays now, so it's like all right. We, there's not Saturdays. But even so, you can like that in. went on for damn near three hours. So. I know it did, but that's just and, because we sit here and we talk so much. I know, but it's like. It's still talking time. about Marvel masterpieces. I should be as high as a kite over that, and it was like, oh but my you, god! Like, but see now, I, I'm on the same schedule as you, so we could probably time it better because yeah. I'm going to be like, eh, it's getting late, man. I'm getting kind of tired. Yeah, or or maybe we should just select like, you know, I, no, got to do the whole thing. Got to do oh, the whole series. God, man. Come on, man. Ugh. I believe. I you. just think about how tired I got during the conversation. Well, just had started earlier. Ugh. <laughs> It'll be fun. I want to uh, point this out uh, as a comment from one Johnny Cock. I was thinking of getting a custom from Joe last year, but didn't want to wait either. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's kind of the trade off. Like, I'm sorry, dude. it's like, it's no, it's it's worth it though. So the difference here well, is, you know, he does. If he tells you he loves you, you ain't getting shit. Oh yeah, no. If you're paying him, you'll get it in a timely fashion. Well, but I'm offered like, to uh, pay him too. He wouldn't give me a price, and, and he also wouldn't send me back what I sent him. So. I said, I'll even pay. Can you send? I'll send you the money. No, no, no. I'll take care of it. No, no. <laughs> we love if you, Joe. Can... But, but yeah, you're, get, get you that know. Cyclops done. All right. Yeah. And I want my fucking Black Star. Well, look at Ren, sir. Come on, man. Been holding this information out. It's on screen now, so you can't take it back. Uh, yeah. Come Sunday. Which is it, kind it, of surprising because be he's like, everything's trash to him. If we like it, he's like, dude. Eh. Uh, what was it that I was watching? Oh, uh, I was watching uh, Abbott Elementary, uh, the new episode last night, and uh, the janitor on that. So uh, there's this. I'm not going to tell you what the whole episode's about. Anyway, he's tasting the cafeteria food. Shit, you not. He's doing that, and he's like, "This is trash." And I'm like, "I need to get that, get the audio, and have it. <laughs> I need that." Uh, what is? Emily, Emily text me. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Holy shit. That's interesting. Oh, my God. 70 is 58. <laughs> uh, there's Sorry, still dude. time. It's, it's only a third quarter. I know, but still. Well, it's uh, third quarter's, you know, not far from being over here. Ah, uh, well. I think we, uh, we got it. All oh, right. God. Okay. Well, yeah, glad, glad to know that. And I, uh, you know, it's it's always good to, to pick Ren's brain about you know Marvel because I I don't know if he's much of a DC guy because I feel like he just associates DC and Batman as like child molesting and shit. <laughs> yeah, Ren does definitely strike me as more of a a, a Marvel guy. But yeah, yeah, says, I love the thing. Yeah, he, he about... was he was my favorite when I was a kid of the Fantastic Four. I was all about the thing. How about that? But here that's, that's we are. When I saw the trailer for the the the. Uh, Roger Coleman film, and I saw the thing in that. Oh my god, I, I lost my fucking mind, dude. Oh my god, I was like, We're gonna get a Fantastic Four movie in theaters, and Dr. Doom's in it. <gasps> and then we never got it. And you I'm never like, got it. Me and my dad both were excited about it because we rented Carnosaur and it was on, on the VHS of Carnosaur. Had no idea, and we just re kept re watching that trailer over and over again. And just oh, uh, it was. Uh, like we went to Kmart the next day, and he bought me uh, the Marvel superheroes uh, toy biz Doctor Doom. Nah, kind of like you know, you know and, yeah. and excitement about that. And like, oh man, it was so exciting just to to never know what happened to that movie until I think Matt Hilton finally told me about it, or Wizard Magazine had something about it. But 
Yeah, so Matt definitely probably one of the early early ad- uh, adopters of getting obtaining the bootleg. Actually, he, I don't think he ever did. I think he really, was, um, uh, or maybe he had it on his computer or something. But he, I never like got to see it with him because I naturally would assume someone that like him, he had internet before. I, he was the only person I knew that had internet way back when. Yeah, he was. I remember he was getting trailers for stuff and so it, it wouldn't make sense but i i don't know if he saw it he just like no it's not worth your time or something like that fuck i can't remember it, but. <laughs> uh the documentary is great on that though it was too short i mean yeah but it's still better than nothing i agree but i'm like something like that i i could have just sat for four hours what just watching so many stories of behind the scenes of that uh, hey, let's get those people that did a robo doc on it <sighs> yeah oh my god yes that is that's the richest documentary that's ever been made. Check this out. Ren continue, continuing to surprise us. Oh, wait. That's Johnny Cox's oh, comment. There we go. He likes Aquaman, too? <laughs> I don't understand this. He never says about He said, he, he always hates Ren, are you things. drunk? Are you, yeah. are you, try, are you trying you alcohol tell, for the first why, time in your life? How come you don't say this stuff, you know, like when we're talking? Like, everything is like, man, it sucks. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. he, he's, got, he's got 20 points of articulation. I hate him. <laughs> That's all we get out of him. There's uh, nothing a, else. Uh, even though there was like a, a, a mid '90s toy biz release, he's just like, no, that doesn't count. That's yeah, no good. That's no good. It's, it's, it sucks. You know, it's, <laughs> it's drizzling shits. And, you know. So let's uh, take a note here. November 1991. You and I were seven years old. Mm-hmm. Uh, my dad at the time. I need to. I need to. So issue 50. Of course, I think I got like fucking 40 copies of issue 50 one of which i think gifted to you the first time you came over to hang out at my house right? probably so because that was a comic that was traded between me and matt hilton a lot when we were kids because it was all about that cover yeah so for those of you that are wondering i don't have the image book here but issue 50 of this it's pretty much like uh a, a dossier fi- a dossier file yeah. is the cover but then there's claws coming through it and you can see partially what the, the real cover of 50 is it's yeah. it's beautiful but uh, my dad collect uh, big into Wolverine ar- around this time, uh, so I need to go down there and look and see what all from this run I have because I haven't really dabbled in that too much. But obviously, fifty sticks out in my mind because yeah. we had a shitload of copies. The cover uh, just sticks out because, as for it was iconic. It was it, just you know, it's just one of those. A- Specialty covers, but then also the memories attached of when Tyler was like, oh, you got comic books and sipping through them. Do you know what this is? No. no. And then, here you go. Uh, <laughs> take this. Take uh, take this uh, glow in the take dark. Take spawn number one. Spider-Man 2099. Uh, Spider-Man 300. Oh, no, that's staying here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, we, we gave you some extra comics there. But uh, yeah, yes. I, I was happening to pig and shit that I just sitting in, in, in your old, like, foyer. Foyer and just... Yeah. Your dad bringing in box after box, and I'm like, oh, oh, oh. "You got yeah. Master Universe number one, one. Fuck. Yeah. You got Thundercats." It was all. And your cousin John's just like not getting any. I was like, "I don't understand this." Yeah, and, I think he went back and was playing like Dreamcast or something. Yeah, something like yeah. that. But it yeah. was it was unbelievable. What a so wonderful here, night that was. So here we are, and uh, there's you got issue forty eight. You got. Shiva scenario part one, beginning a quest in Logan's past, the sequel to Weapon X, memories unbound. Lots, lot, lots going on, but also the cover kicks ass. Like that's just, oh my uh, god, that, that and uh, forty nine has an amazing cover too. Yeah, um, actually, I saved this. I'm like, God, I need to keep up this. So Larry Hama, of which you'll see him in the credits here as the writer, uh, his run on Wolverine it goes from issue thirty one to forty three. Uh, 45 through 53, 55 through 57, 60 through 109, and then 111 to 118. Also worked on annual 95. Uh, I guess it, it says annual number five and then number minus one. I don't, I don't know what the, the minus one I'm part is. I'm not sure is. what that might be. But a lengthy run, mm-hmm. nevertheless. While he's working on G.I. Joe. And I, a lot of people hold his work on Wolverine, and and uh, I feel high regard, right? I don't. I I often feel like what's I the opinion? I don't here? hear his name. Brought really? Up. Like I always, always feel like it's Chris Claremont. 
Okay. Because he started the Wolverine book, and of course his run on X Men, you know, went from you know the all all the eighties and into the nineties. But uh, I'm but but maybe I'm just not talking to the right people or hearing his name that much. I just feel like it's never brought up enough. Well, what's what's your opinion then? Are you, when it comes to just the the Wolverine book, more of a Claremont or are you you dig? I, 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 I like I like Hamas stuff a lot. Yeah, um, you know it's I. I, I just I think he had a a real knack for the character. I think he I think with his background, you know, you know, in the service, you know, being in Vietnam and things like that, I think it, he brought a lot. Not not I mean, Chris did a phenomenal job, you know, in bringing up you know Wolverine's past and things like that, like his time in Japan and things like that. Yeah. But it just just like in the sample here, of these memories that we'll get into, it's just you could just tell like this is Larry Hama's like forte of like. You know, seeing Wolverine, you know, in um, oh, I forgot it's it's like it's like in the next issue, but it's just some of the things that he's writing. Like, oh my god, like this this so, this is in his his wheelhouse. Like writing GI Joe, and then like yeah, you know, well this here with. So today I, I read this issue and then I, I read issue 49. I was going to get to 50, but work was just too busy. So 50 is a little bit of a lengthier issue too. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's a double issue. So you're yeah. looking at like a, a close to 40 pages, but yeah. uh, talking about 49, that it's, it's pretty much like a fever dream. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I really appreciated that the way the way not only how it was written, but also how it was illustrated. You could see it in, in a cinematic aspect. Oh, God. Yeah. Which, which was uh, which was great. But uh, starting out here on issue 48, we are in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I mean, it just says Alberta, Canada. But anytime I see Alberta, Canada, I immediately think of uh, Lance Stamp wrestling. Lance Storm, Stampede Wrestling, uh, the Hart Family, the Dungeon, etc. Et yeah, just like somewhere uh, in those mountains, there the Hart, uh, Stu Hart's making someone scream in the dungeon. <laughs> yeah, pro- yeah, probably. Uh, I I love um, the, the the narration here through throughout. Very the- very simplistic. Like it, it yeah, just, it gets the point across of like this is this is Canada, but this is not. For the faint of heart, this is a place that people, animals, don't tread. Yeah. Nuclear research facility. And I love this. This look, look of, why isn't this a Marvel legend? He looks like fucking Rambo. Yeah. But soon enough, probably. Oh, my Maybe. God. Like they, they, I, and they love to make Wolverine variants. Like, this, mm-hmm. I, I would pre-order this right now. I'm surprised this kind of wasn't part of what they, they did recently with the two-packs. Yeah. I, I don't I mean if they put put him with like Jubilee with like some rollerblades, I'm like, I don't need I don't need her, but I'll gladly buy the set just so I could have him. Yeah. With the headband and, and the uh the vest on. Yeah. I mean, just look at that. That is iconic as fuck, and yet no figure has been made of this look. Dreams of gore also, by yeah. the way. I, I just we get here into the credits. Of course we have Larry Hama doing the script. Mark, Mark Silvestri Tim- is the wonderful Mark Silvestri. Yeah. Uh, Dan Green on inks. Pat uh, Brasio. Am I pronouncing Probably. that correctly? <laughs> I'll give it left. to you. <laughs> Steve. Why do these people have B- hard to pronounce last names? Bicholetto. B- Bicholetto. Bucoletto. Bucolato. Tomato, tomato, bot. Maybe it's Italian. Hey, Joe, Joe, if you're in the chat, you know, how do you pronounce it? You know, Joe's not watching this. Come on. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we're not talking about him. (laughs) But I think what's, uh, you already kind of mentioned here, Tupac with Jubilee. I think it's uh, interesting and a great choice to have Jubilee here. She's kind of a great counterbalance to the seriousness and the inner monologuing going on within Logan of wanting to uncover more of his past and triggering all of these memories so to have jubilee here in typical uh early 90s fashion yeah. it's it's a good balance and it, it, and it works it does and they, they would be paired up in the comics often and of course in the x-men animated series like she's you know she's kind of taken with them as kind of like a big brother you know? and we have to also take into consideration too 
this of course predates the animated series, but they mm-hmm. are probably pulling from this to get the elements yeah. there that would form it, like what they're planning to do within the animated series. They do. I mean, they they really got to you know Larry and his crew really got to kind of cherry pick, you know, a lot of the the good stuff. Given that they only thought this is our one shot at X Men series, let's just make it the best we got, you know, yeah. or, or can. Yeah, and they and- they did a good job with that. And the the dialogue between them. I mean, I sure don't want to start glowing in the dark and developing any weird new talents. Yeah. You're going chicken on me, Jube. This place has been abandoned for years, but she makes the point to say, yes, radiation sticks around for centuries. Not like it matters too much to him, because I would like to think uh, he regenerates fast enough that mm-hmm. it probably negates the radiation. For the mo- I would say maybe like overexposure for long periods of time may weigh It, on, it would but... put him out of action, but he would get better from it. Yeah. You know, but I, but I love that he knows. Like, no, this is just to scare people off. You know, this is it's it's meant to look a certain way. It's it's advertising. You know, hey, this is this is you know, biohazard. You know, yeah, it's just to keep people out of there. And, and, and I love their their guy just knows. Look, this 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 is bad mojo place. Like I, I yeah, you know, he, yeah, he says right here, not a single animal ever goes near this place. Not an owl, a snake, nor a mouse. But also when he says here that place is bad medicine, I think of the Bon Jovi song, man. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think maybe I don't know if that played into any part of an inspiration of using it for the well, dialogue it, it, here. It's written, it's written in bold lettering, so you kind of yeah. feel like it has a, a little bit of significance. And like like the hunter in the darkness is from a earlier story that that Hama wrote, which I, I part of me when I read that one, I was like, okay, I, I even thought about this. He was like, God, that that should have been one I recommended for the spinner rack too, because it's a solo issue of this hunt in, in Canada that Wolverine's. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll have to throw that one because that's that's what he's referencing, and well, and that character would be brought back a few issues uh, uh, back, I think. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll add it to the list. We need to yeah. probably just start compiling a list of comic books. It's like, oh, hey, that way we got it set, and we'll just pick one. That yeah, way, yeah, yeah. Because pretty much how this came together, uh, everyone at home is yesterday. I was like, hey, I know it's Thursday. <laughs> I know it's late. I'm like, do you want to you want to do a spinner rack tomorrow? It'd be a good way for us to kickstart the the weekend because I always kind of like it's like Friday night. It, I equate it. This is like my my modern version of uh, going to the video store and renting oh, a video yeah. game or something. So I uh, hit him up with that, and he's like, "I'll get back to you." Hit me up. He's like, oh, "What do you think, Wolverine 48 I'm like, "Yeah, absolutely." I, because there, I didn't mention this at the beginning. I did say November ninety one. Tyler and I would have been seven years old. Would have been first grade. So I would have just now have started to. Well, actually, it would have been second grade. I probably would have first into second grade. Anyway, I would just now, much like Tyler, we would have just started to really get into reading. So at this point in time, comic books were still mostly a visual medium for both of us. I'm not sitting here probably, and you even mentioned this before, you're not sitting there reading. Every no, word I, I always, I always, it was pretty much because I didn't get into comics till, till the following year, 92. When I when I got Marvel Universe uh, trading cards, yeah, and so, and comics, I looked at the pictures. Like as long as the art was good, yeah, I, I the story was told to me through looking at the pictures. At this point, I've I've been into comics and looking at them and going with my dad and collecting them now. Uh, Ninety one, like three three years, two three years at this point because it was eighty eight eighty nine. Definitely like eighty nine. So just really got heavy into it because Batman came Batman, out. Batman, yeah, and it's just like. Batman books. Uh, they like, were a hot know, commodity that well, summer, dude. D- well, it wasn't just going. Um, it wasn't just going into Seven Elevens or grocery stores and picking up the newest issue. It was a lot of just yard sales, still even then, and just picking up older books like seven books from the seventies and everything. I I, I still at, in those early years, I looked at books from the seventies as if like they were the holy grail of comic books. I just yeah. I. There were images of those books that I remember seeing at LTs, yeah, and just thinking like, "Oh my god!" Like I would love to own that issue of, and, and knowing that <laughs> it's not worth a fuck, but to me, right, it, yeah, it, it, well, and th- it was that, just the the images of Amazing Spider-Man in the seventies just stuck with me so much as a kid. I just, I was, I just would just kind of sit there in awe looking at these books on display in LTs, and that's why. 
even though key issues are fun and they're great and it's nice to own them, I love the fact that when we're doing this show, we're, we're picking books most of the time. That aren't key issues. No, yeah, it's just, it's just a, a, a little bit of randomness or picking out shit that just has some tangible memory to us, or it's just a good fucking story that's not yeah, that too. To somebody, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and that's the cool thing about comic books, obviously. Yeah, especially especially if you're going back and you're wanting to get an advantage, find them for the stories or like just kick ass like artwork or or, or cover art. It doesn't necessarily have to be. I need the first appearance of everybody. No, you don't. Because oh, if you're doing that, you better have a fucking ton of money, man. Yeah, it, yeah. It, you it, better it, have that that Tyler Iron Studios even that twice a week I mean, money nowadays, dude. Like key issues for. Oh, it's because everyone's getting everything graded now. Yeah. So if you want a key issue, you. Oh man, you I'm kind of hard to find them not graded. I'm kind of curious. Uh, what the 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 fucking Fantastic Four movie is gonna do <laughs> to some of those books now, you know? But then I'll be reaping the rewards, right? Because I'm like, yeah, I got like a bunch of these. Well, but then I feel like it'll. Get but I don't care about that either. I feel like oh, it, it's it's oh, it's always fun to go and look, you know, because yeah, even books I know I'll never own. It's just kind of fun to see how much people are asking for them, not graded, because yeah. I don't give a fuck about graded. I, I don't. But either. it's just fun to know like an authentic copy. Even if it's got a few tears or whatever, like how much a Hulk 181, Amazing Spider Man 14, Amazing Spider Man 3. Oh, like Hulk X- 181, you say? I say that deliberately knowing you got it, that it's been used as a doorstop. Oh, um, man. And to, and to think how much I paid for that. 300 fucking dollars, man. No, it was like 375 or something. Well, it wasn't 400. I do, I do remember that. But yeah. it, it, in 2007, I was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, Sight been... unseen, and I, I, I'm just like, <laughs> he's doing this because he can. Yeah, that's all it. he's doing this for. And I'm like, I love it. You know, in my mind, I remember like, too. You were like, "Can I hold it?" I'm like, "Yeah, man, go ahead. <laughs> you won't own it. You can Be- hold it because it does mean something to me to say." At one point in my life, I got to touch Warren's first appearance, Amazing Fantasy 15. Yeah. You know, yeah, just no, one, one time, like, just to... It's something say, about it, but I, I just want to reiterate again that while it is cool having, owning those issues, I, I think that kind of loses the point of comic books altogether. Like, you... I, I, I read them to get invested in the story. Yeah. It's not it's not so much going yeah, back... Yeah, is like a fucking trophy. You know, yeah. and so you can brag about it, but you have yeah. no investment with that character. Mm-hmm. Then I'm like, you know, because there, there's a bunch of key issues uh, that are out there, but like, you know what? I don't give a fuck about a lot of them. Yeah, you know, I've I've come so close several times, so many times trying to buy Marvel Premier 15, the first Prince of Iron Fist. I just haven't pulled the trigger yet because yeah. either it's, I'm like, I I don't I don't either got the money or I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Just because of that time, then I'm thinking like, here I'm paying two hundred dollars for statues, like, you know, <laughs> yeah, I better get it while I can before someone has. Hey, we're bringing back Iron Fist, and Disney's decided to pull it all the stops and not make it lame as fuck. I, it's it's funny that you you bring that up. I, I did want to, um, is it is it issue is it issue fifty of Luke Cage where or maybe not? What is the the, the first issue where it, it's him and Iron Fist teaming well, up? It's Heroes for Hire. Um... I couldn't tell you what issue it is, but yeah, it's it's in Power Man's book because Iron Fist has, say it has a short, mm. short run. Like he had his three three part miniseries and then a a fifteen issue run before it was canceled. Could have swore I had it up here. Ah, there it is. Uh, fifty, yeah, it's issue okay. fifty. Yeah, it's it's where it changes, and then it's uh, Power Man and Iron Fist. But I yeah. love the cover because it, it it's pretty much just. It looks like a black exploitation movie mm-hmm. poster, but you think about when it came out to seventy in the seventies, so, you know, yeah. when black exploitation and kung fu films were, were were big. Yeah, so I would love. I, shit, man, maybe this weekend I'll pull the trigger on that because I, I I just love that that cover a lot. I um, I, I, I still want to get that uh, Marvel Superman fifteen just so I can frame and and because it's it's a great three part story. 
yeah. of the origin of Iron Fist. Like, I, I just think it's a fun story, even though the story gets progressively more fun, especially when you get to the issue three of that. Yeah. But having that first issue and, and beautiful artwork and, um, you know, it, it would be something I'm like, yeah, I own that. And I've got Iron Fist number 14, Sabretooth's first appearance. That's, that's one of my proudest books that I own because I just fucking love that character. Never oh. thought in a million years I'll ever own an origin of, of that capacity. Never, yeah. never thought I could do that. Yeah. There's something special about it, but also like, don't, don't just trophy collect them, man. No, it's, Check it's, the story. it, it, it that, like that and Sauron's First Prince meant something to me because of like the trading cards and saying like, oh my God, like how amazing that would be to own that because you, yeah. you just have that, an affinity for that character. You know, of, of course, I, I would like to get uh, first appearance of Galactus and Silver Surfer. Oh, yeah, me too. But I mean, at the, at, the, I, I, at this rate now, it's, especially with the movie coming out, it's going to be dog it, shit. That'll so. skyrocket. I, yeah. I, want, I want Silver Surfer number four, and uh, three and four. Yeah, you know, I, I I just you know I, I you, you want for the four reprint. so you can you can put like you can display your statues yeah. <laughs> that yeah. you spent ass loads of money on with yeah. with the comic that you spent ass loads of money on. But uh, I've got I've got the reprint of, of number three on the wall, and if I get the Mephisto mini bus, it will go look quite nice. Uh, not too mm. far from that on display. That, that, uh, you need you need to look at that mini bus of Mephisto, dude. That fucking rocks, man. Oh no, I uh, I think Mephisto as a whole in terms of um any sort of merchandising there needs to be more there, there, there i mean i can't believe marvel uh hasbro has not put out like i know there was the attempt to do it yeah the kickstarter yeah. but like you haven't done a mephisto figure at all period yeah i think that's what they were kind of banking on to get to get the the Fucking funding stupid yeah it's dumb um what it's going back to this look too the rambo okay there's just fuck man it's, it's fucking crazy. It's so fucking cool, man, and and it looks it looks so good with the maroon and gold outfit. It it does. Which I, I Wolverine could pull off a headband with any look with the yellow and blue, which is my personal favorite. But well, it, with uh, Wolverine makes every look from the patch look to the just you know civilian <laughs> yeah. look with the with yeah. the jacket or wearing like a lumberjack shirt. You know, Tyler brings up the yellow and blue suit. We only get the couple issues here with this suit, and then it does switch over to the yeah. The yellow and blue, but I, I love them both though. They're they're, they're I so do too. iconic. I, I I can't say one's better than the other, but I have a, 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 an affinity for the yellow and blue. Once again, calling back. Hey, are you coming or not? Yeah, give me a sec uh, to lace up. Finally, got some hard top to practice on. So uh, she's kind of more concerned about rollerblading. Who Which you know that that's the, as popular as rollerblading was back at that time. Like it, and Wolverine's not at all bothered that she's just she's there because they're buddies and she. Is not going to risk the opportunity to, well, to do some roller He's focused. Blogging. He's also yeah. really extremely focused. Where it's like, hey, you coming? But he's our, like he's drifted back off to the mission at hand of yeah, finding out wh what he needs to. Steel enforced doors. He touches. Oh, I've been here before. And just love how he just he's standing there and just he's also like you know. Telling him, to, you know, be careful as he's just kind of sitting there and just yeah. observing and just going into deep thought. And I mean, that shot right there of him thinking with the head, man, I'm like, God, this is fucking Rambo, dude. <laughs> ah, yeah. Now, 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 there's a story I would love to see like, a complete like Rambo take with Wolverine, like a like a three part story of him in the jungles of Vietnam. You know, or something like that, and he's like captured or something like that. It goes fucking crazy, just takes out all these guys and save some POWs. Oh my god, he's so fucking cool. Yeah, sure he's ripping off Rambo, but who who cares? It's gonna be an awesome <laughs> visual. <laughs> I love this here. Uh, it's just more uh, skating services, sure, but where there's a parking lot and an industrial complex, there's gonna be yep. a lot of bay doors and garage doors. So. Yep. And again, just more and more mysteries, and then opens up this one door. And oh, look at that! There's a car. Yep, a car that uh, seems like it was uh, a Lotus Seven. Oh, never heard of it. How'd you know what it was? Oh, I just knew. Yep. And the keys are in there, and there's a little uh, little satchel there attached to the key. There, and it's like he kind of has an idea. Like this, this looks like Native American. Uh, the the seats adjusted just for him. Yeah. And then, just like, just like and that, bam, flashback. Triggers these memories. Yep. And yeah. 
which is what this little three-part story is all about. And, and anyone who's seen the episode Weapon X Lies in Videotape from the animated series, which is definitely a a take on this storyline, a very, a very good episode. Um, as this this three-part story folds out, like it's it's this is obviously more more mature. Yeah, uh, but it's um, it's a great re- great interpretation of, of the story and bringing in the key characters of, of the story in, into that episode as well. Yeah, and cold just seeing these, cold. just seeing these these random flashbacks, and you're still like, okay, is this the implanted shit? Is yeah. this you know as is is going as he's going along here for anyone who's never read this, you you find out that. Well, I, I, well, I, we'll, we'll, we'll dig you, into that. You don't get, get as along. much of it in, in this issue, but definitely in issue 49 is when it's very yeah. heavy. And on 50, the... 50 is even more. Like, it's, it's, it's. I mean, yeah. yeah, you're just going on a ride. Yeah. It's a very, very trippy. Well, we can spoil it for the people. So we'll, we'll do it towards the end of this. We'll explain kind of what happens in, in issue 49 uh, for those of you that, that take us interest. If you're enjoying it. But as we're seeing here, he's being uh, essentially being abducted for the Weapon X program. Yeah. It's, it's kind of what they're, is what we're seeing here. And just the shot of him taking the guy's head and smashing it into <laughs> yeah. the headlight. Oh my God. Like, and his well, eyes I, are, are whited yeah, out. Like, yeah. he's in berserker mode here. Got him. Is, do him quick. Use a stun gun again. <laughs> again? <laughs> which, you know, I mean, we wouldn't have a story, but you, you just kind of feel like these kind of, random government agents if you want to call them that like yeah. wolverine would just i mean mince me down these guys within seconds but we don't we wouldn't have a story <laughs> if that were the case right so it's but hey kinda... it's nothing that uh getting pistol whipped in the in the head can't yeah can't fix and as the memory is uh as he's being knocked out in his flashback it's triggering something that pretty much knocks him down to the ground right in yeah. front of jubilee yeah and all she sees is I'm like, what the hell? What the fuck's wrong with you, man? Like, you don't look so good. Yeah. yeah it's just like as he's observing the car. <laughs> well, it's just, just triggering all these memories that he's like, I, they don't make sense. They're, they're fragments of these in, these incidents that happened in his past, but has no idea where they happened. Or... But just how she's talking to him, too. Maybe you should give up cigars and take up blade skating. Yeah. Yeah. Once like, again, that, that, that's, uh, a, the that's, a ju- that's a jubilee answer, too. Like, yeah. that, 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 that's just how the character is. She's carefree. And uh, he just decides to, you know, do a little bit more walking around here. And of course he sees the flat, the headlight has been busted out. Yeah. So he, it's, it's like, okay. But the, the thing is too, he's sitting here and he's questioning everything. I think it used to be mine. Oh, well, let's check the registration. I, 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 this is one of my favorite parts of this issue you find any souvenirs for some hot dates in there you yeah. just leave them be <laughs> and uh she says i find any panties i'm not touching them i was thinking of old grenades darling yeah <laughs> which just, that i uh, yeah which naturally when you read that i think i thought the same thing too yeah. you know which uh, is just you know yeah like hot dates leaving souvenirs yeah what what else would it be but but Wolverine, uh, he earrings. He can... Why are we going directly to panties, yeah. man? It yeah. could be earrings. It could be lipstick. It could be Bro. tampons. You know, you <laughs> no. <or> not, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. I'm just saying. You know, I, I can see Joe being on. Yeah, it could be old. It could be old Lindsay Ratcliffe throwing one oh, against the. Yeah. Wow. Against the, yeah, waking me up. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep during the, this shitty movie that uh, Mr. Uh, Reese is making you guys watch. Yeah, Mr. He's Reese. Doing. His Yahoo personals. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but as as he's uh, <laughs> continuing to look around here, going deeper as he's walking, and then boom, we, we're right into another flashback. As you see in the reflection of the water there, yeah. where yeah, weapon yeah, be- out beautifully there. done. Like just yeah. him, you see the the look on his face. It's like he's pretty much going to be swiped back into a. a, a we're going to go back into another memory that he's got. But I just love. The reflection scene. Yeah, that's such a great transition of like, yeah. it's very cinematic of a character walking. You look down at the reflection of the water. Yeah. And then you see, you know, a past version of yourself. Like, it's just so cinematic. And as yeah. we see him being uh, trampled by more of the uh, 
agents working for government or to what weapon next to keep him under control, which is uh not going according to plan. Yeah. And, and I love you hear the panic uh, in each each response. Why is it oh, some three respond if you can't scap? Some three is totally compromised. Getting some Wranglers down here. Wranglers, what we need is heavy weapons, teams and sappers. It's just going, going, going. Yeah. Oh man, I, I, it was. Uh, it, it was a comment. Where was it? Uh, Gary Buchanan saying, "Art is so rowdy." I don't know. I hopefully he means that in the best possible way because well, yeah, I, it, I, I, I love it. I do too. Mark Silvestri does a, a phenomenal job with with this with his run. I I think some of the earlier stuff he did, I think, was kind of like a little. It's almost like he was trying to find his footing. Yeah, and then you see this stuff, and it's so fucking polished. Yeah, I mean, it's just so. Um, I mean, it's it's just stunning, edgy, gritty, mature, uh, but very realistic looking artwork. And also, kind of a, a departure to seeing this because th- this this is we're, we're we're getting into the '90s, so the artwork yeah, when, when itself him, is starting him, to him evolve and Jim and Lee, change. You know, because uh, they're two they're two of the guys that left to make Image, but both both those guys worked on X Men related books. Yeah. You know. Um, and just to, you know, and for anyone who doesn't know, like, too, what we're seeing right now, this story, the Weapon X story was also written in the Marvel Presents book, which was a book that was a lot of random stories. There was a lot of Wolverine stuff in there, but there's a, I think, a five or six part story, and it's all about Weapon X. Like, it, it shows, I mean, and it's a very, very well done story. It, and, and there's short bursts because the books are like, have like multiple stories in them. Yeah. But uh, I highly recommend if you haven't read any of those in the from the Marvel Presents line, and it tells you what issues they are, so they're yeah. not hard to find. I highly recommend that if you if you have not read any of the Weapon X story, or or you see this, you're intrigued by it, you want to know what happens before this to lead up to this, you need to read the Weapon X uh, uh, storyline from Marvel Presents. And obviously, of course, uh, these would be used and looked at to serve its purpose in the yeah. cinematic realm to, to kind yeah, of they, they, they would pull. I mean, I feel like a lot, they, they, they pull Yeah. Just like little, it's like uh, pull this, pull this, pull this, pull this. Yeah. It's, it's snippets. Yeah. Of, I mean, it's, yeah. some of this was used in the animated series. Some of this was used in the movies. Yeah. And then they did do that. Uh, Hulk versus Wolverine, um, uh, little straight to video movie that has a weapon uh, yeah. story. Yeah. Which I was, re- I remember it was that. fine. It was fine. Yeah, that that um, was the the one that also had uh, with Thor as well. Thor, right? yeah. yeah, yeah. Which the, I, I don't, I'm not giving a shit about that story. Yeah, that the, yeah. The the Thor. I remember watching that. I didn't care for the Thor one, but the Wolverine one. Was yeah, because like Deadpool's decent. in it, a Mega Red's in it, yeah. uh, and you're seeing all these snippets that are in the Weapon X story, and it's it's bloody and and you know they don't hold back on a lot of stuff. So it was it was a lot of fun. Love that. It, it's, it's, Love it's the just, white eyes. Yeah, I, Wolverine in Berserker mode with his his Weapon X gear. The, you know all the the electrical wire and everything is such a with it, especially when he's got the helmet on when he's the got the helmet, on, too, helmet yeah. on it's yeah. a, such an iconic look i mean it was part what, of was the, was was i looking for statues or anything of this after i read I, this I wonder, maybe i wonder i wonder <laughs> uh let's let, let's blow some more money actually i'll uh i'll save a couple of these uh comments here from uh john and ran as they're talking right. there in the I'm, chat. I'm gonna i'm gonna Dude. use the, the restroom real quick oh man quick come quick. on you're supposed to you're supposed to do this before we I, got started I, I what are you do doing before we get started man i can't help it tyler has the bladder oh, the of size a of a pea yeah i'm giving you a little more credit than you're giving yourself but well i'm just letting you know i don't like having this like hanging over my head when we're trying to have a good comic book discussion. man you just need to start you need to what we need it's, to start should doing... i just carry carry like a barrel bottle here and i'm like jim Carrey and Dumbiner. Absolutely. I was gonna say just uh <laughs> I was just gonna say just put a bucket right there in front of you and just Yeah, like, you can just, just hear it here just going. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what are you? Really a camel? Warm. Yeah. It just does that shiver <laughs> you know, that happens when you have to take a piss. All right, well yeah, go ahead and take your pee pee break. All right, well just keep everyone company while I while I take Oh yeah, break. great. I'll set I'll I'll stall for time. You better hurry the fuck up. I'm gonna hurry the fuck up here. <laughs> oh. I, did, did you hear him grunting? Oh, the dude needs to go to the doctor, man. He needs to get that checked out. He's way too young to be having to pee this frequently. I must uh, I don't know who Johnny Cocker is referring to here when he says, oh my god, it's slim. It's slim and beefcake. 
I'm hoping you're not talking about us and I'm Slim and he's Beefcake. God, I hope not. But get back to me on that one. I'll ask Ren since he's here <laughs> where it depends. I'll make sure to tell. I'll pop that up when he comes back. Ren, what are you thinking of the artwork so far? I'll ask you that. You pop that in there in the chat. I mean, I, look at that. I appreciate that. I, 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 Once again, the berserk mode, the white eyes going here too. I'm digging it. It's it's uh, a departure from the norm, as we talked about before, early 90s. The styles are starting to vary and change quite a bit. I'll go ahead and move to the the next page. He's got the claws out. Jubilee, are you nuts? Let's get nuts. Uh, you know how close you came to nuts, moi? You're standing around in the dark corridor, <laughs> grunting and breathing heavy. Get a grip. That's uh, pulling Joe Amato over there with the, the grunting and the, the heavy breathing. We got this. Uh, James Bond. The handle's all taped up. Better grip. No fingerprints. Ah, here's the intriguing part. I hope Tyler hurries up. So we got this shadowy figure, and now we're back here because once this gun is handed over, flashing back once again. Logan's here. In his suit, but but who could this who could this possibly be? All right, yeah, there, there he's back, fiddle fucking around, knocking shit over. I got hung on a molecular's uh, bird here from Silverhawks. Uh, I asked Ren how he felt about this art. He digs it because this was his era of comics. It's well, I, I dare, I think it was the last great era where where so much looked good, like art yeah. wise. Like the two thousands had some good stories and some decent art. You know, starting out and then it just turns to dog shit and it's never recovered, in my opinion, because. Um, mm, well, I, once again, I, I'll, I, I, I stand by Brew Baker's run on Captain America and Daredevil. So. Well, not, not, I'm not saying that there weren't because I, I think of like, you know, I did enjoy Ultimate Spider Man for a decent run of it, you yeah. know, and I love Mark Bagley's artwork and there was some uh, good uh, artwork from David Finch, like on New Avengers, and I think he had some other, other stuff that I enjoyed. I, uh, Steve Dillon and Garth Ennis on Punisher was fucking phenomenal. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You we, know, so yeah, more so love not to everything, that, but I guess you get deeper into the 2000s, into like the 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 teen, the twenty teens, where it's just ugly ass artwork because you're cheap, and Marvel would rather just hire you know guys who can't draw worth the fuck because they're cheap. <laughs> you know, uh, I I was uh, well, well, first things first, because I already popped this on screen. Uh, Ren says where it depends. And uh, I really not sit in my own piss. That's, that's what Joe's, <laughs> Joe does that. Not me. Well, no, I had mentioned Joe because uh, you're the one standing around in a dark corner, uh, dark corridor, grunting and breathing heavily. So yeah. I, I thought of Joe. And but Ren also mentioned here, are there six fi uh, fingers on that gun? No, if you zoom in here, one, two, three, four, five. That's yeah, that's like the wrist right here. Uh, but I said, triggers a memory. See him here, he's got his suit. Who's this shadowy figure? Who could it be? Uh, who, who could it be? Got blonde hair. Got blonde hair. Oh, man. Pulled back. Is it going in? He's still cloaked in shadow. They're getting ready to do this big bust. But, I, I mean, I, I love the conversations that we're having here, too. You can definitely tell uh, they're partners. They've been together for a while. It's, it's like buddy cop bullshit, you know? Uh, much, much enjoyed and a lot of fun. It makes you want to see more of it, you know? I was going to say, like, wh where is sort of... You get more of a, a like a, a mo like a mini series or whatever, having this being involved. I I would love that. And oh man! Oh, I spoiled it. So they're giving. Oh uh, man! They're, no, they're talking in code names. Macedon. There's a saber tooth. Holy shit! I love this look of saber tooth. By the way. I do too. God. I I I and and just like like in the next issue when they're when they're uh at a um I think a, 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 like a Cuban bar. Yeah. I think it was, and yeah. they're in this military uh, outfit, and yep. they they just they just look like, beating oh my dudes God. up. Yeah, yeah. Where, it's Hasbro. Where's the two pack of this in suits, yeah, man? Like, I like, I would buy the shit out of this. Fuck yeah, I would. I do a pre order for them right now in their business suits with with the uh, various weapon handheld guns. I mean, I guess you could probably do customs of it at this point. Probably uh, yeah, time to I rock and so. roll, partner. Yeah, until they start seeing people doing good. good uh, what, 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 why aren't we doing that? 
know, yeah. $75. Oh, man. Look, look at these. Yeah. Oh, we're the, busted. The door kicked open. Yeah, you got it. I just, I just, I'll, I just hear the voice of Cal Dodd and the, I forget what his name was, he did, voice of Sabretooth in the animated series. Damn it. Yeah, I can't, Dude. can't place it right off, but I, 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 that's, that's the only voices I hear when I'm reading these stories. Which, which I mean, that's, I kind of wonder, uh, pre animated series, what voices people had in their heads when they were reading these books, you know? Uh, I, I, you know, like if if I probably if I was reading the books before the animated series, I probably would have thought Australian because of Pride of the X Men oh, and yeah. his appearance in Spider Man's Amazing Friends. Right. Which I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. like I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like uh, he's gotta be Australian because I like Crocodile Dundee. Okay. Yeah. Um to, I think what Tyler did, he didn't he didn't go pee, he had to go masturbate because Miami Heat beat Chicago. That's probably what it was. No, I'll do that afterwards. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Much like Joe, it's like, yeah, I, I gotta go. Do yeah, but you know things. what? I'm gonna bow at Grace. I'm not just gonna be like, okay, go ahead, go buy. <laughs> his dick's already like halfway out of his pants. Yeah, he's, like, he's like Jack Nicholson in the Cuckoo's Nest. <laughs> yeah. You know, you want me to take a shit in the floor? <laughs> <laughs> I need to watch Cuckoo's Nest again. It's I know been it's been a while. Yeah, it's too. been too long. Um, <laughs> so we haven't. Uh, so far in this issue hasn't been a lot of action and we're, we've been building up memories and we're, we're building yeah. the story, but now we, we take a break in that. This is when we get some bullets and blood and mayhem. And so we don't know the backstory off. behind any of this, but we they, don't they either. Been yeah. Designed to take down this, um, I don't know what they're essentially dealing in, but, uh, I mean, weapons, uh, it, it's, <laughs> More, more likely weapons of some kind, probably. Uh, you know, contraband. I'm trying. To, it might be here on the the next. I can, I couldn't remember because I I don't recall it, but I you know uh, some some details I miss. Let me let's see. Yeah, no. Uh, I, I'll I'll find the the bit of dialogue when I was reading it because on my phone the the word bubbles are smaller. So yeah. Uh, Logan gets shot hurt so bad, dead. No, not dead. Animal, no Logan. So we're we're getting this. This it, it's like his mind is is, is you, you're getting a having, taste of him being like hovering in between reality like, and these reality that, he, and that he's trying to figure out did this happen and something too a detail above up above is when he falls down on that calendar that is the look of the cabin that he is remembering of him and Silver Fox living in where Sabretooth shows up yeah. and apparently kills her yeah. But, but and also that, and that, too, like that's when he the early it, issue of Wolverine too, like that that's like the early in Claremont's run of Wolverine. I didn't really care for that issue, I mean, because it's just this most random story. The artwork's ugly, you know, and it's a key issue because it's the first time you see Wolverine and Sabretooth yeah, in a comic book together. But but it goes back to the whole thing I was talking about before. It's like most key issues are, are essentially just because of the president's. That like at the time, they probably weren't thinking like, "Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna turn into something." Well, yeah, because uh, uh, Wolverine is starting to come around popular, but Sabretooth by yeah. far was not a a a popular character. Like he just kind of would show up randomly. You know, he yeah. showed up in Spider Man a couple of times. Um, he just he really wouldn't find his his popularity until the '90s X Men boom. I mean, that, but that's it's like. But it's like you said, it's a, it's a key issue because of this. But the story's not as good. The artwork's not I, I, great. At least, in, your opinion. in my opinion, now, others may may think otherwise. You know, and they do touch a little bit on that in that episode, Weapon X Lies and Videotape as well. But I I don't know. For me, like if the artwork is so shitty, and, <laughs> it's hard. And, it's hard for you to get into the story. It really is. Like even yeah. some that people were just like, "Oh my god, this is one of the the best stories ever." And I'm thinking like this art fucking it's just terrible. Like it, it's this, distracting to the story. Yeah. This, this right here is gnarly and it yeah. gets and it gets it gets gnarlier. Uh, yeah. And the uh, next yeah, it's just more and more. As this Good. this gun this this big uh 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 bus is just going to shit. Yeah. You know? Uh so they're calling them pigs. Because you know that's that's the anyone coming to stop them, like law, if they're involved with law enforcement, whatever yeah. it is, they're assuming they're probably like CIA, FBI, yeah. 
you know, You're pigs. Yeah. So uh, yeah, silver fox. Silver, and it... so, yeah, this the girl that he's seeing here is the the silver fox from his past. It's yeah, it's but like she... part of this amalgam of memories that are yeah. just being you know conjoined together here. Yeah, but she's on the the, the opposite end. Yeah, and, and, yeah, yeah, just it's just, just like... more of this adamantium skin burst. It's gross. Yeah, it's, but like in in a good and the like, hair is getting more yeah and more wild yeah, you know? but also I a little I guess like a little surprised by well I feel like it's it's just as it, it's not in, enforcing like like showing like the the busted up skin it's just like little spurts of you know a little bit of blood I feel like that's something that I'm not surprised that that that, that was allowed. Yeah. Even though this could be seen at your local food line or or Seven Eleven on the comic <laughs> book rack, yeah. But and that right there, a wolf ring. I mean, he is just yeah. full animal mode right there. Fascist That's, pig. Yeah. Yeah, you're dead. And I, see but, that 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 foam or saliva coming out of his mouth right there. Like yeah. that is just to see uh, that image. He's got out rabies, of, man. Yeah. Jesus Christ! Right there. I mean, right up top there. It's yeah. essentially kind of the cover, almost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As he's uh, you know, having a conversation with Silver Fox about this, Sabertooth's trying to gather his bearings here, and you see the uh, the little pouch. Yeah, little pouch. More conversations going on there. I guess I missed the word. So there was a part where they were saying, like, pig or mm-hmm. pigs. Yeah. But it was... When you look at it on your phone, it zoomed out enough, and the G looked like an S, so it looked like it said "piss." <laughs> I was oh. like, "What? <laughs> you piss?" Yeah, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> so yes, the pouch. Uh, tie, well, let me back up again. So, got the pouch here on the claws. Yow, and then we're brought back to reality because Jubilee was trying to just hand him the keys. Yeah, and she's lucky that's all she got. Yeah, right. Yeah, the, the way Wolverine is going in and out of reality right now, like to wonder, like she's not been impaled multiple times, and it's kind of um, like uh, I guess when I was reading that part, it reminded me because I watched Days of Future Past finally for the yeah. first time. I put it off for so long because I enjoyed First Class so much, and then when we're like, "Oh, we're in New Days of Future Past," but Brian Singer's back, I was like, "Yeah, fuck. yeah that's why I didn't see it." That's, that's like, oh, fuck him. And, but I watched the movie. I'm like, this was actually genuinely good. But when when they have sent Logan back into the past, and they're trying to hold him there, and it's it's very similar to this and balancing being in the past and trying to fix this, but also being in present day. And sometimes it slips, and his, his claws would come out, and he would yeah. attack. Very similar to this. So mm-hmm. yes. She's very lucky that that's all she got. She didn't get like a good slash on the back or yeah. like claws right in the face or something. Also, hey, just hey, a Rick, kick-ass Rick, what do, outfit. What do you think about the the shadow work here, Ren, on, on this particular panel as he's retracting his claws and, and dropping the keys in his hand there? Because uh, Ren's Mr. Shadow, and I love Ren's shadow work, so I'd love to hear <laughs> what he has to say about Mr. this. Mr. Shadow. He's Mr. Shadow. Some fifth el- a little fifth element reference for you. Yeah, the the trash can, Mister Shadow. Yeah. As we oh, as we're wrapping it up here, you see the the sheet. God, of- this is the last page. I mean, I was like not even yeah. realizing this is yeah. the last page. And uh, yeah, it's build- building up for the climax of of, of the three part. This is how they created Shiva. Yeah, I gotta I gotta ask Xavier about this. So yeah. going into forty nine, this is when uh, Jean Grey and Xavier enter more of the picture and this is it gets way more trippy complex in terms of yeah. dealing with Wolverine's psyche it's, it's like literally going through different doors of his mind trying to put and, together pieces and it's just more fucked up and, and and it's basically like Gene and the professor trying to help him remember these things so uh, there you, you get a lot of dialogue between the two of them as he's going through these various situations, like, all right, mark that down, mark this down. So they they are, it's basically just like this big, huge experiment on that they're doing on him. 
Then they start to, to realize that if they, they can't, they actually pull him out because they realize if he goes too far, it's going to send him over the edge. Yeah. Yeah. Because... And, then, and then they can't bring him back. And he was like, I, I, it, it, what we saw here in the, the dialogue, he's like, I'm not an animal. I am Logan. And yeah. that's kind of the base. Like they're afraid that he could just totally revert back into that wholeheartedly. And Logan is just gone. Because as, as he finds out that, the Weapon X program deliberately staged and filmed memories with Sabretooth, Silver Fox, I believe Maverick, yeah, um, and, and and Logan, and just to f- kind of help bury the things that these guys were programmed for. And if they ever got loose, they you know they it was just obviously the Weapon X program has folded, and all these guys have have gone away but the whole point was like to not allow them to but if they yeah. ever did you fuck with their heads so much that they don't remember the things that they were programmed and conditioned to do it's just scary you know? <laughs> yeah very, very fucked up you yeah know? and that's what wolverine is after when you get to the third part he is after the professor that did this to him because he, he cut off his hand yeah. and that you see that in the weapon x storyline because uh and that's uh what shiva is this a uh, robot program that has been uh, assembled to just all it, all it knows is to take out the people on the list of the Weapon X program, and Wolverine yeah. is at the top of that list. Yeah, well, it's it's kind of like your fail safe. You know? Yeah, if things get too out of control, you just psh, and yeah. eradicate everything. Uh, it's, Rand- but it's a wonderful story. I highly recommend anyone who's not read this three part story or the Weapon X storyline. You really owe, 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 owe it to yourself as a fan. To go check them out. Uh, I with this Wolverine book, I had started many months ago. I think I'm got like two, three issues deep into it, and then I, it's just one of those things. The way work gets free time. I I think Wolverine's something I'm gonna dabble a little more into. Um, I feel like you're, you're. I feel like you two are like kindred spirits. You know, just knowing your personality, I'm like. There's a. I, it turns out there's a lot of these uh, Marvel characters that I guess personality wise, I I could kind of yeah. uh, share a beer with. Yeah. Um, Ren got back. He says, "I think Arthur Adams did it best, uh, but it is awesome, of course." Arthur Adams. Arthur Adams. I'm, I'm yeah i'm not sure who he's uh, i'm sure he'll bring it up like man that you were a true fan i'm like i it's, i'm drawing a blank it's probably someone that wrote a book in like 2012 and tyler was like i don't read that yeah shit. yeah i don't read the modern shit eight dollars for a shitty book yeah uh, um mom. if any of you will go ahead uh, if any of you have questions for us go ahead and toss them in the chat i'll go ahead and cover some of the stuff that i marked early on in the episode i i personally have not checked this out but johnny cox says i want to hear tyler's take on transformers one trailer takes cover is that like the new Transformers <laughs> series that's coming out <laughs> I, I honestly have no I, idea johnny i have no idea um i'll look it up <laughs> Yeah, I or John, no Johnny. If that's what it is, I haven't seen it. The one that's gonna like coincide with the them having like a screen of like the first four episodes of oh, Transformers. Oh, okay. Optimus Prime and Megatron go from brothers in arms to sworn oh. enemies on their home planet of Cybertron. Oh, that I remember hearing about that. I have no interest in that. None, uh, none at all. Chris Hemsworth is the voice of Optimus Prime. Oh yeah, fuck him and 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 uh, and, and fuck that movie. I mean, I, yeah. I like I like Hemsworth, but well, I, I like as Optimus store, but Prime. I, but I, I'm like, no, no, no. You know, it's so fucked up. They they insist on trying to get other, someone else other than Peter Cullen and Frank Walker to do the voice of Megatron. Optimus well, I Prime. mean, eventually you're gonna have to. Yeah, when they're no longer with us, you and you don't have a choice. But yeah. when people are still celebrating those two definitive voices of those characters, that no, nah, we're, we're gonna go with Hemsworth, you know, because we know he doesn't like to dress in costumes, you know, just you know, because he's. You know, he's he's a diva and shit like that. Like a lot of the guys who play superheroes, they don't want to dress up as the fucking character because, well, it's uncomfortable. Uh, so the director, I'll, I'll take the multi million dollar contract for it though. The director of this directed Toy Story Four. Yeah, I don't care. I, I just <laughs> I, I I don't I don't. Give yeah, a fuck. I, yeah. I, 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 I'm sorry, yeah. but it's a no. It's no. It's fine. Yeah. I sorry, Johnny. I have no interest in it. Uh, I'm just gonna. I just continue to stick with the first two seasons of the original Transformers series, and that's where it begins and ends with me. Ren says you better get your shit together and search Arthur Adams. Well, I feel like I've heard that name before, but I'm like, I, I can't. 
Arthur Adams. Let's see. Uh, first broke. I was listening to old Bret Hart. Why? Why? Shoot. Why? Because it popped up. It popped up on YouTube. <laughs> I was uh, just watching while I was eating dinner earlier. First broke into the American comic book industry in 1985 miniseries Long Shot. Uh, went to work on X Men, Excalibur, X Factor, Fantastic Four, Hulk. Okay. Comics. Okay, yeah, okay, I recognize him now. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, uh. Well, I, I, I recognize him now, but he just he's one of those names that just never was burned into my brain. Eh. Art Adams inspired Jim Lee. Says gotcha, Johnny well, God. I can see that. Uh, this was a comment from John we were talking about uh, when I got Hulk 181. So few things in collecting world I dropped $375 on. I'll buy oh. equipment tools and computer parts for 375 plus but my healthy buyer's remorse is ever looming when it comes to collectibles fuck no so, man if i could get a whole wolverine for 400 <laughs> bucks here it is man cash i uh, ran went on to say 375 for my motorcycle or truck no problem i have paid uh quite a bit for very few of my collectibles so i think Maybe it's just uh, that might be a thing too, where it could be a little more of a generational gap as well. I guess. I mean, I paid 400 bucks for the Mon Ra playset and for the Technodrome, but yeah. they were both complete. Well, see, like they they probably just bought them new when they when they were like getting their lawn mowing money or something. Yeah. You know? Well, I mean, in this day and age, knowing that you know there are certain things I don't know. Just, yeah, I, I, but, I, but I, but I, I would like. There's, there's common. If I had the money, I would buy so many issues of, of certain issues of Spider Man and X Men, uh, Avengers. I, I mean, I, I would love to have certain issues because they're important to me. They're important yeah. to the mythology. You know, I, I, I think, I think too. Uh, going back to the, the bit, the slight bit of generational gap. Like they got a. Nah, <laughs> Rand's like, what the hell. Well, you guys got 10 years on us. So you also had to think, too, when you guys were in your early 20s, and if you were into that stuff at the time, it was considered, uh, it's, you're a fucking nerd. You could have gotten it way cheaper. And we were a bit behind that curve. So we're obviously going to have to pay more than what you guys would have. So I think that's, yeah. And then as you guys are getting older, too, priorities are changing a little more. I, I don't know. It's, I, I, it's well, and, and knowing too the way things are going up so quickly, like unless yeah. you, you you bit early, it's getting hard for anybody, you know, to have that kind of money. You know, it's not like I can do that a whole yeah. lot. You know, when I did when I made those really big purchases like that, I was fortunate to have the money. Things are comfortable. I'm like, I'll do this because I mean, you know what? I may never get another opportunity to do this yeah. again. So yeah, and I'm I have no regret about the money I've spent on key issues of comics or toys. Uh, yeah, abso I'm like, absolutely not. I, I think the biggest thing for me is like, I'm going to buy this. Can I still pay the bills? Can I still pay the yeah. mortgage and still have money left over and not yeah. feel like this is taken away from anything? If I'm in that, if everything, if we're all green light from there, then sure, there's yeah. no problem. Yeah, absolutely. Like I and, and when I make this purchase, I'm like, I'm so proud of myself, and I'm like, I'm not like. Oh man, now, now I can't buy this or that. I'm like, no, I'm good, man. Uh, now I'm, I'm happy. I, I will say I do <clears> kind <throat> of differ from Tyler a little bit because when it when it comes to certain things, I do. I think I personally set more of a limit of what I think I want to pay for it than what Tyler does. I think Tyler will go a little bit higher than I will. I'm more willing to haggle more. So I, I do got a little bit of that going for me, but I guess it just depends. It's all, it's all situational, but also same time too. Like I personally deal with a lot of thinking that like I, I buy shit and I'm like, yeah, that's cool. And, but then I also think about it and I'm like, well, who, who like, who cares? I got the money. Just do it. It's pointless. Like shit's pointless. I won't get too deep into it, but I, I'm just like, yeah, the things seem pointless to me a lot. Even after I buy the shit, I'm like, well, that was kind of dumb, huh? Well, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess I wish, wait, it, wait, I get that, but I guess for me, it's like I, I have such a, you know, I, I, I think about this stuff, these characters, like on a 
yeah. hourly basis. I mean, every day it's it's a cycle of like he dreams about them too. Yeah, it's it's just you know this stuff has never left me, and it, it as you know people go ah oh, you'll grow out of that. Like here I'm 40 years old, and this stuff is not. If anything, it's just gotten stronger. My passion for this stuff. So, and that also you know. goes into the whole uh, that whole thing we always think about of just. And I mean, Ren and John, obviously people a little bit older than us because when the, they grew up with the, that animation boom in the 80s and we were yeah. kind of, we were kind of catching the, that the tail latter, end of it, the yeah. latter half, we're still in the same boat. I think money wise, it, it can vary just based. I, I, I might be speaking out of turn here. I think Ren and John and people a little bit older than us are a little more closer to the generation of making you feel way shittier about spending excess amounts well, of money well, on all, things. I, I think about though, they got to experience all of the stuff that we're still celebrating when it was brand new and yeah. from the very beginning of its run to the end of it. And then move and on cheaper, to cheaper, damn it. Cheaper. Whereas like we're catching the tail end of He-Man, Thundercats, G. We're getting Jones the clearance and stuff. Yeah, but we're, we're getting, getting the hand-me-downs too. Yeah, so. like things that my cousins and fr- people at school don't no longer want. It was it, it just it kept me and in, in, had such an insatiable hunger for this stuff because it yeah. was not readily available. It would make an interesting uh, conversation, actually, to just uh, maybe we can uh, Ren if you're going to be on the show Sunday. Maybe that's uh, like with Joe being there too, being just. Just having that age discrepancy, I, I would I would love to kind of talk more about that. Just uh, kind of get a feel of because we know Joe obviously just cheap regardless. But, yeah, I mean he he got really into masturbation. I think that's what got him boys. <laughs> but no, I think that would be just a a, a fun conversation. Yeah, I agree. All that stuff. Uh, let's see, what do we have? I think I had one more. Oh yeah, two spinner racks in a month. What a treat! Hey, I, I told you, man. Now now the same schedules shit like this can happen a little more often yeah before like we, we still, were relying... we still got to do like we got to come back and do like a mommy vice episode in the interview yeah yeah yeah, yeah. One of same vitus nights man i gotta bring that yeah. back yeah um you know is, that, and other, is like... miami vice streaming somewhere again because i know no, they... tubi took it off damn fuck yeah so that that i don't, kind of I don't be... know if it's anywhere right now but i know that I kind was... of becomes an issue with the the rest of the people yeah. on, on our show so deucing get on it uh you should be yeah. ashamed youngsters Are there oh any... yeah I, i'm sorry i was born in 84 <laughs> yeah can't help it uh there might not be any other questions i'm not saying anything well shit man let's let's go ahead and wrap this up because of course we have more statues and busts that we need to start oh, i know, I know start let, me, let me see if my if my my bed from mephisto actually went through if the guy gave it really well, actually let me it. look let me look well this son nice of a up. bitch the guy still hasn't responded to it i hate this so much like if you don't want to accept my bid oh okay bid. yeah the bowen designs mephisto bus huh? yeah yeah oh uh, i okay i see the ones you're looking at well, no, there's actually several. Oh, well, yeah. I see the one that's best offer, though. Is, is that the one you're looking at? Uh, I feel like there was oh, there was a couple of others, though, uh, that I thought had that as well, but... Yeah, that yeah, that one kicks ass. Doesn't it? Doesn't it fucking yeah. rock, dude? Yeah, looks great. Yeah. There's a... Sh- I mean, Shocker, Loki. I mean, they... There's a shit ton of them. I had no idea there was that many of them. Like I, I'd see them over the years, and like, oh, they're nice. And I was like, eh. I thought they were too small at the time. I'm like, oh god, some of them look really good on display. I mean, they're small-ish, but it's yeah, it's not like they're like you know, little pint-sized things. No, they're 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 a fair size, and they all have like very unique bases to them. Like shit. Resco comes with the tesseract below them. Like, oh my, that that's that's really cool. I forgot to to make mention that I went to one of the local Walmart stores and they had on clearance the X Men animated oh, yeah. animated series uh, bus and I I picked up Rogue, uh, Magneto, and Cyclops and I, I pleasantly I mean the the boxes I was like all right these seem like they're gonna be a decent and they are decent size got a good heft to them and fuck man. For the, pretty much 50% off. So instead of paying 50 60 I paid 25 30 Hell yeah. That's, that's, and yeah. and Ty was like, are you going to get any more? I'm like, dude, if you go and look at the prices of the other characters on Big Bad or Entertainment yeah. Earth or what, 
fuck that. They're full price, yeah. Yeah, no, that, that they go anywhere like seventy to one hundred and twenty dollars. Mm. I'm like, no, I think I'm. I think I'll <laughs> if I can find any others a discount like that. Yeah, I'm all in. But yeah, yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, Johnny Cox sent me a link so you can do another episode on trading cards. So I, I'm that that may be actually. Oh, okay. Holy shit. Oh, dude. Yes. They got all of them on there? Yes. All right. So what we have is Marvel Universe Series 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Marvel Masterpieces Series 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8. What if uh, Series 10, 11. X-Men Series 1 and 2. Fleer Ultra X-Men Series 1, 2, and 3. Uh, Ultra X-Men Wolverine. The Amazing Spider-Man. Marvel Annual Flare. Spider-Man Premium. Uh... Fleer, Ultra, Spider-Man. I remember that one. God, they're all on here, dude. Yes. God bless you, Johnny, for that Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, to cover, like, the the Mark Bagley Spider-Man line, which was, like, the the nine cards that would make a a, a picture. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, I was, that that was, talk about a a junkie to buy that. Like, I was, (laughs) what little cash I could get together, I was always wanting to buy a pack of those cards to complete any of those puzzles. Oh my god, they were so fucking cool. Yeah. Ren Ren says that he got some uh, forty five pound plates for thirty dollars a piece. So all right. Oh, well, I, I, yeah, I hope man. you hope you stick with it, man. <laughs> all right. And we don't well, we don't see it like in a hey, I'm selling some plates. Joe, you want to buy them? Yeah. Well, Ren, I, I hope you're gonna join us this Sunday. If not, no worries. But hey, Hope everyone enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed some Wolverine conversations. We'll, we'll we'll double back on some Wolverine. Tyler and I will get together. We'll make a list. Uh, we got to cover some cable. I can't remember who it was before. But they're like, can you talk? Uh, uh, cable. It's my favorite character. I'm like, we'll, we'll figure something out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Cable, X-Force, which I, I only, like, one or two issues came to mind. Like, that'd be cool to talk about. But they are, like, the, the first several issues of X-Force, like, they're all part of this one story. Yeah. So, like, to pick one issue that's, right. like, you know, it's like, ah, uh, I don't, I have to uh. go back and reread it because they don't. I always like to do ones where it's not going to, you know, like one, like this was the first part of this storyline. Like that's right. why this worked. Yeah. I would much rather pick something that's more, you know, self-contained where it's not the middle of the story where, you know, yeah. I got to get Nathan to read three issues back or hope the readers have read. Right. You know, it, but, it just, but, it just, it, but that's also something that we, we, we could do. Like I'm, I'm open. We to could. It. That I, way I we can talk what leads up to it, discuss the yeah. issue and then go from there but yeah i hope all of you enjoyed this that we're checking out thanks to all of you that joined us live in the chat tonight and if you haven't done so already make sure you hit like comment down below let us know your thoughts on wolverine if you haven't done so subscribe and ring that bell so you're always notified when we go live till next time we'll see you next issue juice no thanks i'm not thirsty I should know I, this. I saved this line for you because if I did it on Sunday, everyone's like, none of you guys have fucking seen this. Nathan is the only person I know that has seen this. Maybe Rebecca, because she rented movies a lot, but uh, Joe was beaten off and Ren was probably like, you know, you know, banging beaver and beating up cops. <laughs> uh, you, you said it, and I'm like, yeah, that sounds very I, I, familiar. I'll, I'll say it again. Juice? No, thanks. I'm not thirsty. Not thirsty. You got to give me another hint. Okay. You, I'm trying to think of another line from this movie. You've that seen this be. before. Oh, uh, believe me. We've talked about this movie uh, before. On a, on um, a show? Or just we've talked? No, about? just you and I. I think, oh, okay. you know, just something from our past that we talked about. Um, the little boy with the backpack. He, he gave all your money to an itty-bitty boy. <laughs> I, 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 uh, but it's for Mr. McIntosh. Oh, uh, blank check, blank check. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, I haven't watched that movie. It just, it just popped in my head up last week. I'm like, God, I'd love to revisit that movie. So, when does the line happen with Juice? When he goes, he goes to the bank with his blank check for a million dollars and gives okay. it to Mr. Biederman. Mr. Yeah. Uh, and. It, he, he thinks someone named Juice is supposed to come get the money to bring it back to uh, Quigley. 
and it's and Tone Loke shows up right after that. Fucking Tone Loke, man. Name's Juice, man. Quick to send me. Man, Karen Duffy in that movie. I had to look. I had to remember her name. Karen Duffy's hot in that movie. Oh my god, was she like? And knowing that you know, uh, blank check, and all he does is a million dollars. Yeah, but it, but we were kids. We think a million dollars for a fucking castle, a yeah. water slide. And, yeah, yeah. You know, which I think I saw a thing of uh, the 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 actual castle, and I think that the owner of it let like these bushes grow to where you can't even really see it anymore, or something. Oh shit. Yeah, I thought that was such a cool house, and he has the water yeah. slide put in, and this big yeah. back door like go kart uh, track. Yeah, and, and, and he, like the inflatable got, like wrestling ring, and yeah, and he's got the uh, the uh, the old, the fucking the video game system where he like like the three D game system where he's like, oh, you know, uh, I mean that looked like dog shit. Even well, I mean at the time I just thought it was cool. Virtual for reality. Yeah. Yeah. But and then you get art from the Burbs, you know, Rick Duckerman, you know, playing his chauffeur who's like his buddy yeah. hanging out with him and everything. It, yeah. it, was, it was I'm like and it's uh I guess I just I don't even own a copy of it. I never I never dig around to buying it, but it's it's been probably I haven't seen it since the nineties, probably. I I have it on D V D. Yeah, I need to I I mean it's on Disney Plus too, but I know you don't I, I have just, that. I, but I'm it's... like yeah, I just got HBO Max. I, I'm tapped out on these. On Get the Disney, man. You can watch X Men the animated series. You can watch Spider Man stuff. Yeah, in there. I know because I, I I want us to be able to do like um, the eighty one series is all on YouTube. Like that's something I would love for us to revisit. Yeah. Um, and any of the other uh, Marvel animated shows like do watch along. So I think we've just done one watch along. Uh, like part oh, yeah. of the X Men is the only thing yep. we've done, but like to do uh, Batman, Superman. Yeah, we'll, we'll get around. I, I, to I that. want you to watch the the first appearance of Toy Man in the Superman animated series. Like I'm like, this is a character like Nathan would definitely okay in, enjoy watching. It's the I, 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 third I'll, episode, I think, third right, or fourth I'll, episode. I'll check that out soon. Yeah, then. I highly right. recommend. Like, yeah, it's been a while since I've watched it. Like, yeah, Nathan, Nathan would like this this character. And, he, just this. and you should watch a uh, blank check again because I watched that a couple no, of years. Ago. I want to. Like, I I may just go on eBay and just buy like a used copy of it, like buy it cheap <laughs> if I can. Is it know? not on Amazon? I don't know. I hadn't even bothered to look because I, I had, honestly I haven't looked when it just popped up. I was like, oh, dude, you you can get the DVD for six twenty nine on Amazon. Oh, I was like, fuck, I'll go ahead and buy it now. <laughs> well, check and see. I, let's see if it's on Blu Ray though. You might want to at least check for that. Uh, no, not on Blu Ray. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah DVD is so. your best option. You got to well. watch it, or you could just get Disney Plus and watch it in the best possible quality. I know I could, but I'm like Jesus Christ! Like I got, I did, you got Netflix. I hardly use it. And... Yeah, I, I'm trying to uh, real quick too. I think it may have been JSP, who's not in the chat actually, but uh, had recommended uh, Late Night with the Devil that did drop on digital platforms. It's streaming on Shutter now. If anyone else wants to check it out, but I did purchase it on Vudu. It was only 15 bucks. So I'm gonna watch that this weekend, and I'll report back and let let the people know if I think it's worthy of uh, a modern horror film. So hell yeah! Uh, cool. Hope everyone enjoyed. Get the fuck because now I have to pee. I and I'm not wearing yeah. my depends. Catch you on the next one. Take care.